A dental implant is a way of replacing a tooth. If a tooth is too far decayed to be able to be saved, or it has a crack down the root, then the rest of it will be removed and a new a titanium root form is placed inside the bone, allow the bone to grow in so that we can attach an abutment, which is basically the up part about the gum, and a tooth can be put on top. This is a model of a, an upper jaw with two front tooth areas being uh, empty. Traditionally, what would be done would be to cut the gum open and open it all up so the bone can be visualized. What's different about the way we do implants compared to the traditional way it's being done is primarily this. If there's a potential problem, know it ahead of time. That is what we now do. Because we have the CT scan technology, we see the jaw in three dimension, not just a traditional x-ray where we can just estimate. We know exactly within fractions of a millimeter where the vital structures are, such as a nerve canal, blood vessels, or the sinuses, so we can plan ahead of time what size implant to use, how long to use it, and what angulation. So once all that information is figured out, the actual implant surgery is virtually painless. But with a CT scan, an appliance such as is called a, uh, a stent would be made that goes on top of that. And the first step would be use something like this. This is called a biopsy punch, and that is made so it goes right through that guide. The tissue is removed almost like a divot. A small sleeve is put in into the same hole. Then I'm going to represent an implant drill where it can only go one way, no other way. It goes right in and it'll go right through the proper depth. The way we do the implant is called a top-down approach. Start with the tooth, go to where the implant needs to be placed instead of the traditional way, put the implant where the bone is, make it work. And yeah, this one shows an implant that is already placed using that guide that has already been made. So it is put in to, to the proper depth and also the proper tightness. The, the guide part, the green part is removed, leaving the implant place exactly in the proper angulation, exactly the proper depth, and this is what it looks like inside. We don't need to do surgery that can be painful. Simply take away a divot of tissue, put the implant in, and we're done.